All right, thank you, Brad. It is the 25th anniversary of the Stars and Stripe America Cup win. Uh, there's a big celebration going on this weekend here in San Diego, and here to tell us more about it is Sandy Purden, who was in the middle of it all back in 1987. <laughs> Good morning, Sandy. Good morning, David. So what was your role in 87 when all this was taking place? Well, I was one of the first guys that Dennis asked to try and put this syndicate together to go after the Cup in, uh, in 84. So from 84 to 87, we worked on this project that Dennis uh, was so excited about doing. Um, I went to Australia, set up the, uh, the boat yard and the housing. Uh, then we had a, a little intermediate uh, program in Hawaii for about four or five months that we practiced there and then went down to Perth to, uh, to really do the major campaign. For anybody who was alive back in 87 and, and didn't know anything about sailing, Hello, me. I was living in Little Rock, Arkansas, but I remember people going to the bars and watching this thing unfold. It was amazing, and nobody had ever watched sailing before. Um, you know, a lot of people had never even seen the sport. What made it that way? Well, I think it was because Dennis lost, and then he put this team together, and he was the comeback kid. So he had to go through 13 other teams to be the, the challenger. And he, he got through that with, and it wasn't easy because mm -hmm. we, you know, there were a lot of good, good competitors over there. But then when we finally became the challenger and then went up against Kukubera, that, that I think got everybody really excited that he could really be the comeback kid. Yeah, and Dennis, of course, a local resident here, deserves all the credit in the world for, for navigating that thing. Absolutely. It yeah. was a, it was an all-consuming project for Dennis. And then afterwards, he actually went to the White House, and I think his words were to the president, I promised you this trophy back, and here it is. That's right. <laughs> it, was, it was an amazing time. And then we went on to uh, New York, and, and Donald Trump, who's making news, uh, hosted us for a ticker tape parade down Fifth Avenue. That's incredible. Ticker tape parade. And there he is with uh, President Reagan. Uh, talk about what's coming up this weekend. It's it's a big uh, it celebration. It is. We're uh, getting a lot of the team back together uh, Saturday night at San Diego Yacht Club for a little dinner. And and uh, Gary Jobson, who did all the ESPN stuff down in, in Perth, has put together a 50-minute uh, uh, television film that uh, will be on ESPN Classic during the day tomorrow. Uh, and we're going to show that and screen that for everybody after dinner. So cool. Now, let's talk about what's going on right now because Oracle is the name in racing right now. They were yes. here just a couple of months ago and stole the show. Yes. Well, they're racing uh, catamarans now, and the, they won the uh, cup and the right to defend, and they're going to defend in San Francisco. But it's going to be a little different animal because it's a 72-foot catamaran and mm -hmm. not the 12 meters that we raced in 87. So it should be very exciting. Other than the boat, what's changed in, I guess, everything in, the, in racing in 25 oh, years? Yeah, yeah, the sponsorship. Uh, it's it's uh, multiple costs now. It cost us about $16 million in, 90, in 87. Now you're talking hundreds of millions of dollars for, for the event. But I notice even today, and these Oracle folks that, that are running the thing now, they all look back at 87. 87 was <laughs> the milestone that brought it back, right? Brought the well, whole sport. Well, you know, we put, we put cameras on the boats. Mm -hmm. And now there are going to be cameras and guys hooked up with mics, and it's going to be awesome. It's mm -hmm. going to be, and it'll be all on the internet, uh, high technology. It'll, it'll be very special. They still talk about that day, though, today. Oh, yeah. All no, the time. It, it, was, it was awesome. A big win. All right. Thank you so much, Sandy. Yeah. And Saturday, it's tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. Now, is, is it open to the public or is this no, a private like, affair? It sold out in 24 hours. <laughs> I bet it did. Well, enjoy. Thank, Thank you so you. much for being on. We appreciate it. And we're going to celebrate it here on KUSI throughout the weekend as well. Great.